in this discussion you can see what is user environment and how to access values from it so basically when you log in as any user like how to create environment for that user and it stores various contextual data used by ORM framework such as user detail context database cursor and environment values are immutable using env variable name so let's see how to access those environment values from backend i'm going to an editor and right now i'm using the odoo's terminal so using env variable you can access the environment of the current user and if you don't know like which user you are logged in then you have to simply use something like this env then after dot user you can access this env two ways like using directly env or self dot env both are the same one but whenever you are using here in any odoo's means here any method from backend side using python you have to use something like this self.env and then after like every variable name you can access from here from terminal you can use directly env or self.env so both are the same one and here i'm using something like this like env then after dot user if i will do something like this it means it's my current user which i'm logging from terminal and uh, if i'm i want to access the context you can simply use something like this env then after dot context if you want to use any database cursor related operations then you have to use something like this c env then after dot cr and then you can al also use like all the crude operations like insert update delete using something like this env then after your model name student then after search so using this env then after in list view you have to add this model it means you can access using this you can access this model using this env variable but the thing is let's say if i'm giving non existing model here like abc something like this then what happen the environment reject this request because it won't be found you can see this key error like key error abc it's not found in model level so you can access all the values yeah also you can use like company then after if you are working with multi companies then you can also add something like this env sorry env dot companies company sorry spelling mistake so env then after company or companies then after you can also add you, you can use like env then after lang which language by default this user is using it's english us version so something like this odoo creates this env variable while login successfully login the user and it's having those fields and based on those fields we are performing here the crude operations also you can also use something like this dir env you will have like many other values like you can use as a ref to get particular record set using ref then after registry then after you can use reset then after shoe shoe means like if this current user is super admin or not so you can use something like this env then after dot ashu true means yes it's a super user also you can retrieve the user id 
using UID. So this is the environment of the user and uh, any operations you can perform using this env keyword let's see how to work inside python's method let's say env self.env then after uid user then after shoe company companies companies then after lang cr and many more current user user id something like this and going to restart the service here and go to in student profile open any student and click here okay we have this error uid is not matched yeah so the thing is like uid is not matched user not matched so not matched might be it's having it it will start to happening because i'm forgot to add this one before like env then after env env so self.env self.env.uid self.env.user something like this you have to use and again i will click here and go to in terminal you can see here this is environment then after this is user id 6 this is whenever you are using like self.env.user it will give you the record set of the current user then after is it a super user it's false then after you can see the current company is one also company selected multi company selected is also one then after this language is us english and this is a cursor and then after this is a print statement so something like this way you can use the current Odoo use Odoo's user environment something like this way I hope it's clear about user environment variables so something like this you can use from the environment variable in next session we will see how to edit this environment using different ways and if you have any doubt for this environment variables please comment below and see you in next session